My name is Steve, a coach from Belgium. Um, I've been born near, in the area of Brussels in Belgium, um, and that's now 38 years ago, almost 39. So, and I've been, uh, I've been in football for 34 years. Well, playing days, I started when I was four years old and I finished at the, re at the age of around 27, 28, um, mostly because of injuries. Um, but I was lucky to play and train in a first division club, which was in, in Molenbeek, um, in the area of Brussels. Um, and I did that until I was 18, 19 years old. But through too many injuries, I went lower divisions. And at the age of 27, 28, I decided to stop. Um, lucky that I had was I played matches against Ajax, I played matches against Chelsea, I played in tournaments, uh, Portugal, uh, Italy, Spain. So that was my lucky part that I had. And of course, the Belgium, Belgium big clubs, Anderlecht, Bruges, Chandar, we played against those ones also. So I coached in the meantime, this is my 12th season, I'm going direction my 13th season. The, normally the, the seasons are a bit different in Europe, so I'm going direction my 13th season. Um, in the meantime, I've done small and big projects in nine countries, um, starting from Europe, Belgium, UK and Italy. But I've also worked in Mali, Ghana, Egypt, a uh, couple of countries in Africa, and then I did Vietnam and I did here in India. Well, I'm, I'm very happy at the end. Uh, the, the culture here is, is different again than compared to the other countries that I've been. But it's also partially for me as a coach to, to learn new countries, to learn new cultures, to learn new ways of working. Um, but the people here are, are, are very good, they're nice, they love their football like I do also. So that, that's, that's very good. I'm, I'm even surprised for me to see how much football is, is loved in India because at the end, before coming to India, you don't really know what to have. So this this passion that there is, this 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 uh, uh, the the spirit that they all want to win, they got, want to celebrate their teams. It's great to see. So I'm hoping to even see more when we can play the the bigger teams, uh, because at the end, that's that's why you do it as a coach. You want to play against these big teams. You want to coach against these big teams. So I'm enjoying my time here. Well, I'm, I'm, at the end, I'm, I'm convinced that there is a big possibility, a big potential for Indian football. Um, but they need to put their structure and their vision right. They need to focus everything on youth development. They need to focus on grassroots. And I'm not talking about 13, 14, 15 year olds. I'm talking a lot younger because at the end, uh, it's the same when you go to school and you send a five year old to school, he will learn much more than a 13 year old will do. So in football, same thing. If you put your focus now in the next 10 years on your youth development, there will be good players coming out and your youth development needs to be done all over India. It needs to be in every region, it needs to be in every area. If that is a big city or that is a rural uh, place or, or whatever possibility, everything needs to be focused on youth development and everything needs to be on a long-term vision. And then I am convinced if I see already the players, technically gifted players, most of the times it's the tactical part. The tactical part where there's still a struggle, um, some, some technical issues, uh, first touch, first pass, uh, the vision. But if you work with that with younger players, there will be a lot more possibility. Another point I would say is uh, stop focusing on physicality. Let us first focus on technicality, let them enjoy, let them be the new Neymar and the new Messi and a new dribbler because there you will learn more than, than doing running. Running is athletics. Let us first focus on football, on, on, on youth development, on technicality. And then I think there's a bright future because you've got such an amount of people loving football and it, in my eyes it's only becoming bigger and bigger. So yeah, there, there will be potential stars coming out of there.
So at the end, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to have signed a five-year deal. That at the end means that there is a long-term vision. Like I just explained in the previous question, um, it's all about long-term vision. You cannot just focus on one year. We were, we were, we went to the semi-final in, in Kolkata Football League. Um, and at the end, you could have stopped that and brought in a new coach and brought in new players and look at everything again. But we kept working. We, we, we lost some players to bigger teams and we replaced them with younger players. And now again, we have this the same with Patashakwa. We have the same with Jambaza United. Um, it's all our future projects, our future stars in my eyes. And we're trying to work the same. So we have a long term vision where we think that youth development will make a difference difference in Indian football, in Bengal football. So I believe in this project, uh, management believes in this project. I see that the players believe in this project. So let us keep working what we did in the first year and let us focus on, on what is coming. And of course, where do we want to get? At the end, the ultimate dream for every club is to play in ISL or the highest division, whatever you call it at that point. I don't really care if it is ISL or I League, the highest division. That's where you want to get to. And if you can do that with youth products and you can do that with youth development, that means at the end that you've done a vision, you've brought in a philosophy, and that's where the club is trying to build for. So let us hope in the next five years that we can put one step or two steps higher. And then we will see where we end up in five years. Maybe we go further again after that, we will see. But that's our vision, that's our philosophy. Look, um, facility-wise, it, it's always difficult. Look, um, you've worked in, in bigger clubs, in, in big clubs in Europe, for an example. Facility-wise, not everything is, is at 100%, but that's nowhere. At the end, there's always possibilities of, of making it better. But everywhere, if it is Kalyani municipality, if it is the club, they're all trying to help as much as possible. We have a good pitch, we can go to gym, we can go to the pool. We're trying to always find solutions um, on, on certain small problems. But um, at the end, we, we, we are very, very grateful that we can train here. Um, it's a good area for the players also. It's a good area to stay. So we are happy there. Um, but everything can always improve. It, it's logical. Football is made about money right now. So if you have huge budget, you can bring in the newest scientists, you can bring in the newest nutrition, you can bring... That's how it goes at the end. But we are very happy with what we have. We do our work with it and we try to evolve. Um, me personally, look, it is, it is football and everyone knows in football, um, you sign a five year deal, um, you, you work for five years, you work on your development, you work with your senior team. But everyone also knows in football, tomorrow there can be a, an offer or there can be another club or the results are not working. So where do you see yourself as a coach? I, I hope that I'm still working with the way I'm, I'm doing it. I learn every day. I learn new things also from the local coaches. And I just want to be a better coach than I'm today. Like I want to do with my players also. I want them to be better players than they are today. So where do I see myself? Yeah, we will see what the future brings. Um, I would like everyone to subscribe on United Sports TV, but not just on United Sports TV. I would also do it on all social media, if that is Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Please like and subscribe as much as possible and we all thank you very much.